Darling live in London with their children, Wendy and Michael. The children are looked after by their dog, Nana. Each night, Mrs. Darling reads to her children. One night, she noticed a young boy flying through the nursery window. She screamed and shut the window as he flew away. The boy's shadow was caught in the window pane. Mrs. Darling put it in a drawer.
very polite. He said you're an ugly girl. Uh, Peter, what do you miss? In Beverly, with the lost boy, I am their captain.
taking the boys in and telling them a story. She told them the true story of the darlings, how the children left their mother and father and their dog Nana to live in Neverland. Suddenly, Wendy and Michael felt badly about what they had done. They grew homesick and decided to go back home. Peter was very upset. Why don't you come home with us? My mother and father can adopt you. Hello! All right. Peter, get your things. No, I'm not coming with you. Will you remember to take your medicines? Yes. Just then, the ground started to shake above them. They heard the battle cry of the pirates and Indians. But the fight was over quickly. The pirates attacked in the dark and surprised the Indians. The pirates won, but they tricked the lost boys into thinking that the Indians had won. The Indians always beat their tom-toms when they win. The children left their home, and they were quickly snatched up by the pirates. Captain Hook crept into Peter's home and put poison in his medicine. He thought that this would be the end of Peter Pan. Peter was upset about Wendy leaving, but then he remembered that he promised to take his medicine. He was about to take it when Tinkerbell jumped in and drank it instead to protect Peter. She suddenly felt tired and sick. Oh, Tink, I didn't know that there was poison in the medicine, and now you're going to die? There was a way you can still live if children still believe? Can you help save Tinkerbell? Yes.
and were adopted. Wendy made a deal with Peter. She said that she would do his spring cleaning for him once a year. Peter would come, and some years Peter would forget. Wendy grew older, and soon she was married and had a daughter. Her name was Jane. back one year, but Wendy tried to hide from him. She didn't want Peter to see that she had grown up. Wendy, what happened? <laughs> I got older, Peter. Actually, I'm married now and I have a child. No, Wendy, how can that be? until they were as small as stars. That was years ago. Now Jane has a daughter named Margaret. Peter comes for Margaret every year. One day, Margaret will have a daughter, and she will be Peter's mother's to mother too. And that is how it will always be, as long as there are children who still believe in fairies.
applause for the narrators, Kate Yeager and Hannah Brunel. Sydney Hendel as Curly. Jordan McCown as Toodles. Fiona Dow as Jibs and Jane. Stephen Bomsey as Starkey. Patrick Morris as Smee. as Michael. <laughs> Maddie Jones as Captain Hook. <laughs> Jalen Wingard as Wendy. <laughs> Geraldine Yobo as Tinkerbell. <laughs> as Peter Pan.